Hello? Is anybody there? Okay, let's go. After 2017's ridiculous year, YouTube is making another change to its guidelines surrounding the channel's monetization. Um, advertisers approval and everything else around the board. Even having people manually sit down and go over popular videos to see if it's um, advertiser friendly. What is advertising? They're not even telling people. Um, what was bad is getting ready to be worse. And the people who suffer are the people who don't even have anything to do with this problem. YouTube details how it's changing the threshold for monetization yet again in the YouTube Partner Program. You went to the change of 10,000 lifetime views to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months. So, within the past 12 months, you gotta have 4,000 watch hours. It's insane. Now, let's move on from that. That means that the small creators who already passed the previous 10,000 lifetime milestone, but not the new goals, will be removed from the YouTube Partner Program starting February 20th and will be unable to monetize their videos in that manner. As of yesterday, any channels that newly apply for the YouTube Partner Program will have to pass this new threshold in order to monetize videos. If you were already monetized, you have 30 days. February 20th will be your cutoff date. They will remove all monetization. And when you do hit that threshold, then you will be reviewed. And they explain that these new required milestones will allow them to use significantly new techniques to help them improve the ability to identify creators who contribute positively to the community and help drive more ad revenue to them and away from what they call bad actors. These high standards will also help us prevent potential inappropriate videos from monetizing, which can hurt revenue for everybody. How? <laughs> you see, the company has made point of noting the type of channels that will be affected. And they said these changes will affect a significant number of channels. 99% of those affected were making less than $100 per year in the last year, with 90% earning less than $2.50 in the last month. Any other channels with, who no longer meet this threshold would be paid, and they already earn based and through the AdSense policies or whatever. Once a creator applied to be part of the new UPP meets the new guidelines, their channel will be automatically evaluated under strict criteria. YouTube will check if the channel complies with its community guidelines or if it has many instances of strike spams, abusive flags. YouTube didn't lay out how it will evaluate all of the channels, but it will likely use a mix of newly hired 10,000 human moderators and AI software already in place to monitor the page. In addition, YouTube will start to manually review all Google preferred channels. This is Google top tiered advertising program that many of the popular YouTubers are all a part of, allowing to get paid more thanks to Google charging more for the ads that appear on the videos. Ads will only run on videos that have been verified to meet our ad-friendly guidelines. One of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone with the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. And while 
our policies have will evolve over time, our commitment to that value remains. While that may be true, the many changes implemented over the past year has made it harder for creators to succeed on YouTube. Making success means making money. The new thousand <laughs> subscribers, 400,000 hours of watch time threshold will make it difficult to reach that for those who are just starting a channel, especially with mysteries of YouTube's algorithm dictating which videos get pushed in front of users' eyeballs. <clears throat> <coughs> Now, the company posted an arguable, more accurate sentiment on the advertiser's blog, saying that it's been clear over the last few months that we need the right requirements and better signals to identify the channels that have earned the rights to run ads. Making money from advertisers running on your channel is a privilege, and one that some big YouTubers have really taken advantage of. YouTube has dealt with an ad apocalypse and... Uh, Pew die die controversy this time last year and it recently pulled Logan Paul from Google Preferred after he posted a video of a dead body on his channel. One that had over 15 million subscribers. While YouTube is still an open door for buddy and creators, the website's prime goes to make money off advertisements. Google and YouTube have the right to set as many rules as they want. For those who want to make money off their videos, since the videos first and foremost make money from for Google. We likely won't see any or many more changes affecting mid or top tier channels come February 20th, but some small YouTubers will have yet to pass new milestones to get the work done and have to make, make it even more harder to make money again from the YouTube Partner Program. Um, yeah. Let's talk about this. All this means is that a person who puts up, let's say, an Instagram video that went viral, they go... 4 million views drop another one they do 4 million views they pick up I don't know 500,000 subscribers and they will lose their monetization because they don't have 4,000 watchable hours they'll have millions of views but they're not going to get any revenue off of it because they don't have four, 4,000 watchable hours. So now YouTube is basically telling you that your videos are going to have to be much longer. They're going to be required to have a five minute watch time or longer or you're not going to, you're just killing yourself shooting yourself right in the head because you're definitely not going to get anything else out of them it's not going to do you any good to put up a one minute video anymore if, if you're starting out Sting has a lot of flaws buddy a lot of flaws I'm out